This is Sarah Mack and welcome to Creative Magic Club. Together, we'll discover inspirational stories of creative entrepreneurs living out their dreams, doing the work they are most passionate about, and building wealth in magical and fun ways. While building a six-figure income as a writer and coach, helping other women to launch their dream businesses, I've connected with so many incredible people and seen it proven again and again that you can thrive financially doing whatever it is you are passionate about. I am here to share life-changing strategies for mindset, making money, and reaching more people with your work in a business and life filled with creativity, freedom, and fun. Hi, Sarah Mack here from withsarahmack.com, and it's time for training part four in the Cosmic Attraction Copywriting free series, and well, Let's be real. I know you all came here for the astrology, but this is the the second most juicy golden nugget, which is how to actually translate all this depth and clarity that you have been discovering through your chart into actual pieces of social media content that's going to lead to these beautiful soulmate client relationships that are going to change your life, that's going to change their lives, that's going to lead to lots of sales, lots of magic lots of transformation. So this is my magic. I've been teaching people this way of writing for what feels like squillions of years, more than eight years at this point. And let me just tell you that this works. I've had people use this approach who have never even taken any of my programs, but have used my um, my template, my free template that I've had for years, who have gone on to make sales from clients within literally a matter of days from implementing these small shifts in the way that you're actually writing and selling. And you know what, maybe these are big shifts. Maybe you haven't been writing or creating content in anything close to what I'm about to share with you. Um, But this is really, has been the exclusive focus of my content creation since I started out in my well, I had my copywriting business even before my coaching business back in 2015. And this was really exclusively the type of content that I would create in the beginning. Obviously, social media has evolved a lot. So I sound like a grandma right now, but it's changed so much since I started. And, you know, now I'm doing a lot more video content. And obviously I have a podcast and there's so many other um, different ways that I am expressing myself in my brand and in my content strategy. But at the heart of it, this is the strategy underneath everything. So I'm going to share my writing process prompts to guide you to share your story in a powerful way that stands out to the right people and leads to ready to buy clients popping up in your DMs asking to work with you. So by now you've had some insights and you know it's really just blowing me away the depth and clarity and connection that we can get to through our astrology charts and really just having that clear picture of you know our gifts and our purpose work and what it is that we bring to our ideal clients and that's what I love about it it just gives you that confirmation it's holding up a mirror to be like this is what you are this is what you've been going through and you know this is what you bring this is the wisdom that you bring as a result of all of that and it's it's just so empowering to have that when you're going out there and, you know, doing scary things and being public and sharing your story and being a leader and a badass. So, you know, just remember whatever insights that have come through for you from looking at your astrology chart, you're always going to be evolving, right? Like your, um, your understanding, your perception, the reality of your life is always going to be evolving around these key themes, but these key, key themes are going to be pretty consistent. So, Um, you know, we are a wellspring of stories. We are all so unique and so interesting, even if we don't feel like that a lot of the time, which is why using this, um, strategy to really just get into the specifics of your story. As long as you do this, you will be unique. You will stand out. Um, you will be really interesting to the right people, right? To the people who want you for you. And 
it's really in understanding these key elements of storytelling for the purposes of selling your offers um, that, you know, will lead to you really landing with the right people and will avoid, um, like prevent you from blending into the noise and sounding like everybody else on the internet, which is just the opposite of what we want to be doing. And that's just not what the world needs, right? We need you for who you are in this moment. So the way that we do this is really leaning into the specificity of your own story, your true feelings and emotions, and really the facts of your life. So, you know, this is like the paradox of copywriting is there's a lot to it. You know, there's a lot of these little nuances that we've been talking about in this free training. And you can imagine this is just my free training. Imagine what we would talk about in my longer programs where, where, you know, I'm working with clients for months and years sometimes um and it can be so easy to get in our head and to overcomplicate it but again it's actually also so simple so whenever you start to get in your head remember just tell the truth speak in your own voice my favorite analogy um for helping clients to kind of click into that human simple focused place when we start to get all scrambly about our business and our content is just imagine you're having a cup of tea with someone who would be a dream client for you and they're literally sitting next to your laptop and you're having a heart to heart. All you need to do is tell the truth. All you need to do is share the truth of how you feel, what you desire, what's true for you in your own voice. It doesn't need to be perfect grammar. It doesn't need to be like fluffy and fancy. Just be you. Share the facts of your life. Tell the truth. This is what draws people in who like you for you and want to work with you because of who you are just as much as what you can do for them through your work. And, you know, there's no point in trying to be someone that you're not in your marketing because all that will do is attract people who don't love you for you. And then when they get inside your containers and then you can't hold up the facade of whatever it is that you've put out there online it's all going to start crumbling and they're going to be like, hang on a minute, this is not who I wanted to work with. Who was that lady on the in- on Instagram? Bring her back to me. So just be you. Give yourself that freedom and you'll attract people who resonate with you and you know who like the way you talk and are receptive to what you have to say in the way that you have to say it. So prompt number one, if you take away anything from this training series, take away this because I promise you, this is going to make you the most money out of everything. It's name your client's desires in the way that they think and talk about them. And then put that in the opening line of your post. So people do this all the time where they actually are leading with like your kind of industry expert perspective, your diagnostic lingo, your like higher view of your client's problem or even the process and the tools that you use with them. Reality check, your clients don't actually really care that much about this. Obviously they care a small amount because if you're gonna be like, I'm gonna help you create what you desire and you're gonna have to climb a mountain, you know, like literally pack your bag and like climb Mount Everest, they might be like, okay, I don't wanna work with you. So, you know, they, they need to know what is required of them But that's not the selling point. People aren't like, you know, oh, I really want to do your five hour hypnotherapy session and rewire my subconscious. That's not their wake up in the morning desire. Nobody is like dreaming about doing a five hour hypnotherapy session. No one actually wants that, but they'll do it if they know and they trust you that it's going to lead them to their desire. So Instead of opening with my amazing five hour hypnotherapy session where I'm gonna do all of this magic and rewire your subconscious, like, no, 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 no. What do they want? Like, always root it back into a true desire of your client in the language that they are actually using to describe it. So, you know, confidently book your biggest speaking gig yet, come and work with me and do some hypnotherapy, right? Get your priorities and your focuses in the right order in your content. And we constantly have to check ourselves around this because obviously like we are in love with our work, right? And we want to talk about it and we think it's so magic and it's so powerful. And, you know, we know how valuable it is to our ideal clients, but that's not what we lead with 
in our marketing. We have to lead with literally what they are journaling about, what their wake up in the morning thought is, their top true desire in the language that they are going to recognize when they see that on their feed. So the next prompt, and I'll put these um, prompts in the description, is what's a top valuable result that you have created in your own life that your clients have actually named as something that they desire. Make sure that you're naming this clearly. And, you know, there's a real difference between an offer that people will pay high ticket prices for um, and one that they won't is it's a result focused transformation, not a process focused transformation. So you can see the difference between this is a process focused transformation. Book my human design reading or my astrology reading, take my breath work or shadow work course. You can see you're leading with the process and you know, there's nothing wrong with this, but there's a big difference in differentiation and how people are going to perceive this when you actually do the work in your marketing and your messaging and also your offer packaging to stop leading with the modality and to focus on the outcome and the result of the work. So you can still do like a breathwork course or whatever, but you want to package it and sell it and talk about it leading with an outcome and a result that is highly specific to your soulmate client. And that's when you're going to start to make easy high ticket sales. When it's so, so obvious to them how you can help them get what they want, that's when people will happily pay you and make moves to prioritize working with you. And actually, so many heart-centered coaches, creatives, and healers really suck at this. This is something that I have to work on a lot with my clients. Um... You know, and it's all this self-worth stuff that we've been talking about, right? Like we're so conditioned to not value our gifts and to buy into all of these narratives that we've picked up on that, you know, whatever it is that we're offering doesn't hold value in society, particularly like intellectual property, right? Women charging lots of money for our intellectual property is revolutionary at this point we're literally having to undo a lot of these messages that we've received and we have to step out and to really boldly claim and celebrate the value that we have created in our own lives as a result of our work and the processes that you know have led us to being who we are and doing the work that we do today so you have to lead with your own results from your life This is truly the only way to build trust with your clients and to establish authority. And, you know, however you feel about that word, not a huge fan of the word authority, but, you know, this is really about leadership. This is really about you um, clearly communicating that you are a leader because you because of what you've embodied. Right. It's literally your job as an entrepreneur to package and sell how you can help people to do this confidently and clearly. So if you need help with this, come and work with me one-on-one. I'll hold up the mirror to your brilliance for you and pull out the highlights that are really the most meaningful for your soul client and put that into clear language that is actually landing with them. This is really the art of messaging. And when you're doing this successfully, you'll know it because people will be reaching out. People will be asking to buy from you and you'll actually be making sales. The next prompt is what is one of the most important moments in your story that led you to having this clear result. And then you can share this as a teaching moment. So you can use your core themes from your Chiron and you know other related placements in your astrology chart to tell the different parts of your story and let people learn about you from different angles. And you know, there's many, many placements that are, are relevant beyond just your um, your Chiron. And if you are interested in having me look at your chart, um, please book a money-making content with astrology reading for uh, custom content and money alignment prompts based on all of your unique placements related to your purpose work and making money and serving clients. So you want to always frame your storytelling clearly in this way, leading with the desire that your clients are going to recognize when they, you know, see your post on their feed and 
And then you can use that as the framework to tell your own transformation and your own story through the topics that you've identified are really valuable and most relevant for the work that you do and the way that you help your clients. You know, I really encourage you to like zoom in on specific moments. We really want to avoid fluffy generalizations. So whenever you find yourself writing in a way where you're like, this could be on any you know, like wellness influencers, social media page right now, like I'm writing in personal development cliches, or I'm using language to describe my process, which I've heard 50,000 times, as much as you can reduce your, your use of this type of language, because that's really what makes your content start to blend in with everybody else. And the thing that's always going to make you stand out, and is always going to deliver your point with the most power for your client is to lead with your story. So one really, really like simple and powerful thing to remember when you're writing content is lead with I. You know, just start a sentence with I because that's gonna force you to pull from your own experience and to illustrate the message that you desire to share using actual events and day-to-day occurrences in your own life, things that you've walked through. So remember that. And using that core desire as the jumping off point, you know, there's like 50,000 million squillion different angles and versions of your story that you can tell. You can tell the big arc, the main like before and after transformations. You can go super, super granular about, you know, here's how I overcame like this particular pattern or here's how I used this particular skill set to benefit me today in this small moment in this like internal shift or a mindset breakthrough that I had or a conversation that I had with myself that led me to take this slightly different action today that I know you know is moving me in the direction of this desire and really being able to illustrate your in-depth understanding of the work that you offer your clients through how you have embodied it in the past and through how you continue to embody that work day to day. So prompt number four is how does your work help them to integrate this transformation to produce this desired result for themselves? So you've mentioned the desire, you're like, okay, this is what you can get when you come and read my content and hang out with me on the internet here's how I created that result, here's like all this evidence that it's possible, here's how you can trust me to support you to get what you want because I've walked that path, I'm still walking that path now, this is my passion, this is what I'm obsessed with and then you know make that bridge, like help them to cross that bridge and seeing how them reading your story, building that trust, recognizing that you can help them Like, what is it gonna look like for for that to happen for them? How does your work help them to do this? So be explicit. You know, this is exactly how I help my clients go from this to that so that they can have this desire. Like, make it so crystal clear how you help clients and what you help them get. When this is clear, you will be making more sales. I'm interrupting this broadcast with a special announcement. Are you wondering which parts of your story to focus on in your content to attract ready to buy soulmate clients? Do you wish you had clear sales page copy for your high ticket offer with a stash of social media posts that lead to easy sales that fill your offer on repeat month after month? Do you wish it felt so easy and natural to talk about how you help people when you get interested clients popping up in your inbox? I can help you. In a 90 minute private coaching intensive together, we'll focus on the most important changes you can start making in your messaging to attract more paying clients into your offers. During our time together, we'll make sure your offer is actually targeted at the kinds of clients you really want to be working with. We'll tighten up your messaging or write it from scratch if we need to, and we'll map out a feel good launch plan to start filling it up with amazing clients you'll come away with powerful copy targeted at the kinds of clients who are truly ready to buy your offer and do the work with a clear step-by-step action plan to start connecting with the right kinds of clients tailored to your strengths and audience. No cookie cutter approaches here. 
plus clarity on your own story and which parts to share to attract the right people with a list of content topics and a few solid pieces of sales content that you can start sharing to make sales right away. Clients who have done my intensive have gone on to get 20 applications within 48 hours of hitting publish on their new sales page, tripled their workshop signups, designed and launched new exciting offers, raised their offer price above five figures, and signed new dreamy clients into their high ticket offer within days. To chat about how we can use our time together to start welcoming more amazing clients into your world, message me the word intensive either over on Instagram at Creative Magic Club or to my email, sarah at withsarahmack.com. And then prompt number five, what is the clear invitation for them to take action towards creating what they desire? So pitch your offer, you know, what is their next action step to get into that offer? DM me for more info click the link to buy or apply, you know, join my free masterclass next week, download my free resource, whatever that clear, simple next step is to take your relationship from, you know, reader and audience member to actually having a conversation about how you can help them or giving them more information on the next steps so that they have the next level of information that they need in order to make a decision as to whether or not they would like to buy from you. So I just want to break it down with some examples on how to really get granular with talking about how you help people. And, you know, obviously your marketing becomes easier and easier and easier when you're actually already working with your soulmate clients because you're having conversations with these people every day. You're having calls with them or you're talking to them and, you know, people are reaching out in the DMs or you're in, they're in your programs and they're asking questions. And um, there's actually a really great resource on my website. I think it's called Seven Tips on Overcoming Imposter Syndrome. And it just gives you some ideas of ways that you can get in the vicinity of your ideal clients and have them ask you questions. Like nothing's gonna connect you to the specificity of your value than actually allowing people to ask you questions because you'll be like, oh, like actually I know so much about this or oh my God, I can't believe people don't know this. Like I need to talk about this more and it, you know, it creates that genuine excitement and passion and clarity than like sitting there and trying to think about it in your own head. So if you're not already having conversations day to day with your ideal clients, get on the phone with them, you know, like reach out, do some research interviews and have actual conversations with real people. And you want to know what are they journaling about? What language are they actually using? Because sometimes, you know, if you've been doing your work for a while or you're like, you know, eyes, eyeball deep in certifications and trainings and process oriented um, information, you might actually be kind of out of touch with where your client is and how they actually perceive what it is that they need support with. So I'll give you an example from my own business. So my brand like tagline is live creatively free, right? This is the impetus behind my business that I wanted to create this for myself. I wanted to create this for others. And I started out as a mindset coach, really helping other creatives to follow their dreams, follow their creative passions. Um, and you know, I was working with, working with a very broad range of clients and you know, I still do. Um, but I was more focused on the mindset side of things. Then I came, you know, I brought the financial, as I started doing better and better financially, I brought the financial freedom element into it. So my messaging was more focused on like, um, creative and financial freedom. So you know, then I started to ask, well, how do I quantify that? What are my actual results? Like, what is the most valuable result that I've created in my own life? And that's really my embodied expertise. And that was having six figure years in my dream business, right? A business that I loved, making money, that was like more money than I'd ever made before in ways that made me really happy. So then I got to ask, okay, that's like the top desired result, but how do I do that? Was I spending loads of money on Facebook ads? Was I cold calling? Was I in an MLM? No, I was. I did that by selling high ticket coaching through organic social media marketing. So it's not only the result, but it's also the way that you got there. You know, the the skills and you know the conversation topics and the the depth of knowledge around the actual path that you took 
to get to the result. That's really what differentiates you from somebody else who is maybe also selling like the same result and helping people to create the same result. So this is really important to be connected to um, in your storytelling. So then I got to ask myself, okay, well, what were the key most important skills that got me to this result? And I didn't have any business training before I became an entrepreneur. And so honestly, the main two things that I poured all of my time and skill and energy into learning and implementing was money mindset work and content strategy. And then now more recently, I've added astrology. So these really are the key areas that I teach on. So this is what I focus on in my content and really talking about how these main things that I teach got me to the result that my client wants. And my offers very specifically align with this clear focus. So people are so crystal clear on not only what I'm gonna help them create, but also how I'm gonna help them create it. Because people don't buy when they're confused. And our goal is to give them as much clarity as possible so they understand what they're making a decision on. You know, I'm sure we've all had that experience where you've fallen for somebody's great marketing and you've got in there or you went on a referral and then you got inside of their program and then you were like, huh, this is not the way that I want to get there. And, you know, that leads to buyer's remorse. That leads to kind of like conflict in your relationship with the person that you've bought from. Like, we don't want this. Um, and you know, that's another reason why we don't want to use waffly emotive language that's not grounded in clear storytelling and descriptions of what this actually looks like in our day-to-day reality. So I'll give you another example. You always, with any type of content writing, this is what I'm always doing with my clients. And I really struggled with this in the beginning is to like move, make moves up the specificity ladder. Like whenever you come up with a concept, You know, when I look back at, for example, my free masterclasses earlier on, they were like confident content and like magnetic messaging. And, you know, they just never did as well as when I really understood this whole specificity thing and was like, you know, really made the effort to package an experience like like this one where I'm like, I'm gonna teach you to use your astrology chart to write a social media post that's gonna attract all my clients. Like this is very specific and it's actually, I'm helping in the same way, but I've actually done the work to get to that next level of specificity in what I'm offering and how I'm talking about it. So let's say you're like a creativity coach. You could talk about how you help people get creative or be more creative. And, you know, maybe that's something that your ideal client is actually journaling about. Maybe she's like, I just want to be more creative. I wish I was more of a creative person. I wish I had more time to be more creative, right? But then, so that's fine. If that is really what somebody, when they read that, they're going to be like, that, yes, that's me. You're speaking to me. That's exactly what I want. But then you could ask yourself, okay, what's another level of specificity here? If someone's being more creative, maybe the true desire that they're focusing on is they want to start a creative project. So maybe you could be talking about how you started your creative project, or maybe it could be you're with like an ideal client who is already in a creative flow and has already started a creative project, but she's not finishing that creative project. And maybe your embodied expertise is, actually, I'm really good at finishing creative projects. And so you could then talk about, here's another creative project I finished. I finished, And you talking about that is gonna make people be like, oh God, that's what I need. I haven't finished my creative project and she obviously knows things that I don't. And I need her help and I wanna sign up for her program that helps me finish my creative project, right? Um, maybe it's somebody who just doesn't have a specific project, but they want to create consistently or they want to build a creative habit or build, you know, build a daily creative habit. Or maybe it's even more specific than that. Like you can reflect on how do you create? If you're a writer and you're writing every day, maybe you could talk about building a habit to write every day. And you know, what's another level of specificity around that that would really support your client? Maybe it's writing a hundred words every day, right? And so You always get to come off your actual experience and your journey. And what are the things that you've actually been doing? Who are you? How are you doing things? And how can you pull out some of the specifics of that and then bring that forward in your storytelling and tell people 
the stories about how you're doing these very specific things that are leading to those desired results. You know, maybe it's building a daily vocal ritual or like doing breath work daily. That's what I'm talking about. You can see the difference between like getting creative and write hundred words every day. That's a massively different level of specificity. Um, another example could be, you know, if you're helping people to rebrand their business, cool, like which parts do you want to talk about that are going to help you enroll people into this offer? Is it building a new website or a website rebrand? Or maybe it's you want to create um, an invitation to help people do an Instagram profile rebrand brand, or even plan your next photo shoot. And, you know, again, if you help people do all of these things, then these are very specific and granular parts of your story that you can tell that are going to show people what you've done, what you know how to do, and actually what you're going to be helping them to do to get them to that, you know, like that overall core desired transformation. Get granular around you know, what have you done and these topics and these stories in your content and it's gonna land so much more profoundly with your people. Don't waffle, don't talk about your process more than you talk about your own story and your own results. And please remember, your story sells more than absolutely any other type of content that you create. So, you know, even if you are doing like, uh, you know, information, education, carousel, quotes, whatever, always include at least one to two lines of your own story and results in every single piece of content that you share and you will start making more sales. So in our final training, I'm gonna share the clarity that you really, really need on the three things that your soulmate client absolutely has to hear from you consistently in your message to feel confident and excited and ready to buy your offer. If you're not doing these things, it's the reason you are not making sales. And of course, the most important thing beyond sharing your story in a way that speaks to your clients, real, true, most important desires, is making sure that your offer actually clearly aligns with what you're talking about. So this is exactly what I help you with in my Cosmic Brand Story Private Intensive which is my 90 minute one-on-one call together. Plus you get a week of Voxer follow-up support from between Monday to Friday. During that time, that's where I'm gonna like ask you all the questions and really pull out the most profitable, valuable angles of you, your story and your work to very clearly define your offer. That's gonna be the type of offer that makes you the most money out of anything else that you could be selling. And then from that, we'll get really clear on the content topics and the brand message that will clearly let your soulmate clients instantly know that you are the coach and offer that they've been looking for. I'm also gonna look at your astrology chart and pull out the parts of your story that make you stand out as unique so that you can attract those soulmate connections. I'm also gonna look at your human design uh, chart and give you a step-by-step breakdown for exactly what to do with your content to magnetize people who are excited to sign up and pay you now. And you'll come away confident and clear on which parts of your story to lead with in your sales and social media content to build trust that leads to sales from new clients way faster. And we can use that time together in any way that you know will most support you with your offer and your launch. We can write the sales page, we can write any copy that you know, you would like my help with. We could do an email sequence, a social media launch campaign. We can put together a free event to attract, you know, consistently attract soulmate clients into your offer month after month. And really with me, no questions are off limits. Mindset, energy management, strategy, astrology, human design, launching. I'm here to support you to have your best launch yet. And clients who have done this offer have gone on to instantly and easily start booking new clients. I've even had one client who had a six figure high ticket group program launch after this intensive with me. So click the link in the description below or go to withsaramac.com to book. I can't wait for our final training tomorrow. I hope you are out there making sales, attracting clients, using this, applying it, having breakthroughs in the way that you're making your content. Please share your insights and breakthroughs with me. I can't wait to hear about them and I'm sending you so much love. Bye. For more inspirational content, head over to my website withsaramack.com and please support the show by liking, commenting and subscribing. I'm interrupting this broadcast with a special announcement. 
Are you wondering which parts of your story to focus on in your content to attract ready to buy soulmate clients? Do you wish you had clear sales page copy for your high ticket offer with a stash of social media posts that lead to easy sales that fill your offer on repeat month after month? Do you wish it felt so easy and natural to talk about how you help people when you get interested clients popping up in your inbox? I can help you. In a 90 minute private coaching intensive together, we'll focus on the most important changes you can start making in your messaging to attract more paying clients into your offers. During our time together, we'll make sure your offer is actually targeted at the kinds of clients you really want to be working with. We'll tighten up your messaging or write it from scratch if we need to, and we'll map out a feel good launch plan to start filling it up with amazing clients. You'll come away with powerful copy targeted at the kinds of clients who are truly ready to buy your offer and do the work with a clear step-by-step action plan to start connecting with the right kinds of clients tailored to your strengths and audience. No cookie cutter approaches here. Plus clarity on your own story and which parts to share to attract the right people with a list of content topics and a few solid pieces of sales content that you can start sharing to make sales right away. Clients who have done my intensive have gone on to get 20 applications within 48 hours of hitting publish on their new sales page, tripled their workshop signups, designed and launched new exciting offers, raised their offer price above five figures, and signed new dreamy clients into their high ticket offer within days. To chat about how we can use our time together to start welcoming more amazing clients into your world, message me the word intensive either over on Instagram at Creative Magic Club or to my email, sarah at withsarahmack.com.